Each tooth is made up of crown and root portion. Both the crown and root are made up of their own hard and soft tissues. In this video, we will be dealing very briefly with the structure of the tooth. Watch the video till the end to understand it well. Hi, we at Dentorize welcome you all to a platform where we help you to conceptualize, visualize and memorize dentistry. Every tooth has a crown and a root portion. The outer layer of the crown is made up of enamel and the outer layer of the root is made up of cementum. The junction of the two as demarcated here in red is called as the cemento enamel junction which is also called as the cervical line. If we talk about the crown, the crown is visible in the oral cavity but the cervical line cannot be viewed in normal cases. Why? Because this portion of the crown is covered by a soft tissue which is called as the gingiva or the gingival tissue or in layman language we also call it as gums. Notice the black arrow here in the figure. The root portion is not visible in the oral cavity. It is firmly fixed inside a bony process of the jaw so as to hold the tooth in its position relative to the others. The bone of the tooth socket is called as the alveolus and the portion of the jaw which contains the tooth is called as the alveolar process. In this figure, you can notice the alveoli of the incisors, premolars and molars in the mandibular arch. The figure represents the cross section of the tooth. The tissues of the tooth are divided into two kinds that is the hard tissues and the soft tissues. The outer covering of the crown is made up of enamel which is the hardest substance known. The outer covering of the root is made up of cementum. But the bulk of the tooth is formed by the second layer that is the dentine which is present both in the crown and the root as shown in the figure. Thus the enamel cementum and dentine constitute the hard tissues of the tooth. The soft tissue of the tooth is the pulp which is present in both the crown and the root. It furnishes the blood and nerve supply of the tooth. The crown consists of the pulp chamber and the root consists of the pulp canal. Together the pulp chamber and the pulp canal are continuous with each other and they constitute the pulp cavity. If you like our videos, please hit the bell icon, share so that we can reach out to maximum people, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Suggestions are always welcome. Stay tuned, stay safe.